I just want to make a quick video um, on utilizing the sliders correctly. Now, I say that not because you might be using them wrong, because there's really no way to use them wrong since there's only two sliders and um, the unlimited variations between the two uh, make up the panel. But what I mean is that um, sometimes with the panel itself, there's actually a little um, glitch that might happen. And what I mean by that is, let's say that I click on infinite skin and uh, run a quick um, layer stack here. And if you are never, if you've never used infinite skin before, please check out our website at infinite-tools.com where I go over the panel in full detail. But specifically, let's say I just go ahead and de delete my mask for a second and I just increase and decrease my slider. Sometimes what happens is um, if I bring my slider all the way to the left or to the right, it might not update the results. Like for example, in this particular instance, it seems to be working all the time. And maybe if you go too fast, like it might not update the results like this. For example, it's all the way to the left. And you can see here that it did not update and soften the texture. And if that does happen, what you can do is actually double click the clarity button and then it will update. But another way that I found to be quite foolproof is instead of clicking on the button and then dragging it, what you can do is just click on the actual place you'd like it to go. Because once it gets to that destination, it will always update regardless. Um, this is not something to do with our panel specifically, but just based on how the UXP or the infrastructure that we use to create panels with, they have a couple of parameters that um, are being worked on from the Adobe side. Um, but at the current moment, it's nothing to do with anything that we've coded incorrectly within the panel. It's just the way that it's kind of structured and set up within the ecosystem. Um, the panel itself might not update. Um, but I think Adobe is working on what it is that we are asking them uh, to do in order for that not to happen to anybody. So this is a common thing that might happen with other panels that in the future you might have under the plugins menu. But anyways, um, this is just to say that if you do have a problem, that's how you get around it by double clicking on the button in case you're using the button itself, or rather than that is just to click on the actual line where you would like your setting to be placed. Okay, so with that being said, I hope this helped anyone who uh, is uh, looking for it. And please join our groups using um, Facebook. And that is linked in our infinite dash tools page. And I would love to see your work. We always feature people on Instagram. So please, please, please share. Um, let us know what you think of it and uh, join our community.